I can't even put into words how much I enjoyed this challenge for Soap Challenge Club. I learned a lot about soap, about myself and my patients. Every minute of working with my soap was wonderfully relaxing, even though my back hurts like crazy. The material for the video alone took six hours of work and I didn't record everything. It took about two and a half hours to make one block of soap, then cut everything clean and make the frame. Yeah, it was a lot of work. The mistake was to cut everything into individual soaps and then make the frame. But I don't have tools that would guarantee a straight block so I had to make the frame in a more complicated way. <laughs> I learned a lot and especially I realized even more how much I love soap making. Much, very, very, very much. I was as calm, balanced and happy as ever. I definitely didn't do the landscape technique last time. I hope you enjoy the video as much as I enjoyed making these four season soaps. And this is my masterpiece. <laughs> also, very big thank you, Amy Warden and guest teacher Roxane Moore of Caprica Soapery for this wonderful opportunity because I love it. I love it and again, thank you very much. It is not allowed to paint mica on the top of soaps in the competition, so I carved the shadows on the top of the mountains and I think this little touch gave the soap a nice 3D effect. I hope you can see. And now it it's finally it. Everything clicks and I am happy how they came out. Since the spring has yellow tones, it's more juicy. I want my summer little bit cooler greens. So I hope that I achieve colors which I want. This is still very hot, but I... Oh, it's okay. I combine two fragrances, Blackberry Fizz and Hot Pink Linen, <laughs> because I don't have any straight, summery fragrance oil. I don't know if I like these colors. <laughs> Too late. Too late.
that is my spring and summer. <laughs> I have to clean them and make them prettier and also I have to make frame. Can you see the sun? <laughs> And next on the list is autumn. I have so many colors front of me because autumn is the most colorful season and I very looking forward to make another soap for this for season series. <laughs> I made so many teeny tiny. <laughs> I don't have any extruder, nothing. I wish I had one of them from Lisa. She has most beautiful channel on YouTube. I dreaming in soap and she made make most beautiful extruders and such a thing for the soap. Maybe I buy one in future. <laughs> There is my spring, <laughs> radioactive green. <laughs> I just have to cut it because I need to know if continue with my four season soap or not. I just curious, curious and I Little, little peek, if it's okay, I just need to know if I have spring. Pits. I don't see any mica line, but this is only first cut, but these greens are so close. These yellow spots supposed to be dandelion. <laughs> there is my autumn soap. I am a little bit cold, I don't feel well, but 
I am so excited to cut so I can wait how this came out I have little bit holes but I fix them later uh, I thought that these two colors will be similar and clouds are too I am disappointed ah this looks much better oh my gosh I am so happy with these soaps wow wow I love them spring summer autumn if someone don't recognize <laughs> oh my gosh they are so pretty so pretty and winter waiting for cutting so i will be done with these and then i have to make frame Yo, these are so beautiful. Uh, in this soap, I use gold mica line, and they are more visible than the green one. But also in in here I have green light look green here and here and they are not that visible like like the gold doesn't matter oh they are pretty sorry for my voice Also, I made autumn and winter and <laughs> when I finished my winter soaps, I was so tired. My back hurts like hell and I forgot to add my snow. So I have winter without the snow. <laughs> Beautiful Carlos, don't you think? Beautiful. Wow, I love the autumn. Ah, this is gorgeous. <laughs> also, I love the sun. I paint the sun with gold mica and it's noticeable. Wow. The autumn is great. So, minute and I will show you the winter. <laughs> winter is here. <laughs> no, it's spring, but <laughs> little hearts. I make the hearts for every top my soaps because I love them so much. I have to cut because I need to know if my hard work pay off. I had winter done, but I think this this is only one color and I already made blue frame, so I have to make another winter. <laughs> I have so many soaps, so many soaps, and I am short with my butters and oils and everything. Yeah, this is much better. <laughs> I hope that 
anyone's understand my excitement because <laughs> This is snowball. Can you see? <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I want to make snowman, but I don't have the time. Can you see the mica lines? This was corn flower mica. I love the sky. I love these colors together. I fragrance this winter soap with crackling birch from Nature's Garden. I love the scent. But I have a little bit trouble because speed up the trace more as I want. My hands are short. Can you see? I think it's pretty. They are together. I can wait how everything will look after I put them to the frame. I make big mistake when I cut the soaps to the bars because I have to each one of them pour around and make frame. <laughs> I don't know why. I always make things harder for myself. I pour one layer, I add freezer paper and cardboard and I pour next and third. <laughs> this way I think I, I am able to make most of the bars. I didn't add any fragrance to the frame because I have only one mold. I have to make four batches and I don't have time for this. So Whoops. So, there is my <laughs> experiment pouring frame, one road for each soaps. 
you can see my first layer was poured with light trays but second and third one was very thick I have some holes but I want very hard recipe because I don't have time and I need my frame set up quickly now <laughs> I will try separate them without without any damage it's work <laughs> it's work let's free the soaps from the box or frame <laughs> I think it's not that bad. I was worried when I pour the white soap around with such a thick trace, but I still have a lot of work ahead of me because of that. <clears throat> but Yeah, a lot of work. <laughs> they are placed wrong, so... Uh -oh. Today will be dedicated Cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. <laughs> That's why I I am happy that I have this tool. It will be much easier and quicker, I hope. They are heavy. <laughs> Two more. This challenge is most beautiful challenge because you can make whatever you want the possibilities are endless and <laughs> depend on only your imagination and this is Amazing, I can wait to see what others soap makers created. I can wait for your comments. Now I want to make some how it's called carving to the soaps. I don't know if you can see, I already made one, I think it's pretty, give the bar 3D effect, I painted some with gold mica, but this is not allowed painting with colors on the top so I decided made them this way and I think I like better what do you think this bar is already done too and 
everything pop out, especially the mountains. I don't know if I will make line between meadow and mountains. I have this tool. This is for baking. Also, I don't want to hit the thinner mica lines. I don't want to ruin them, so I have to be careful and make under the line with mica. This is such a great therapy for me. I just want to scrape thin layer. under the line of with my car and make the mountains pop out like this I hope you can see Just teeny tiny and everything smooth it off. What do you think? It's a great idea. And then I also made thin line around the frame like this can you see I think this is looks much better but I don't have time <laughs> playing as much I want because sorry I have to send some photo to the challenge today <laughs>